Best interview with Torque ever, take one. It feels awesome to be back in Florida because when we played here, we actually, this was one of the first sort of tours we went on in the States was down to Southern Florida. There was a girl down here who had a, a night she was promoting in Miami. And um, we were amazed at that point, which was very early in our careers, that anybody had heard of us and there was a great turnout. And um, it, it's been awesome again. It's, uh, I mean, there's palm trees, man. It's fantastic. Beats Wisconsin. <laughs> yes, I think we do. There's four already, see? It's already four people. I like our chances. I think we're going to get up to at least ten. Five, so we're already... We've equaled our, our match. Well, it hasn't felt that way to us, you know? It's felt like a hard-fought battle all the way. I, I, I think that um, there's been periods of time where things seem to, to have grown quickly and uh, we noticed that but a lot of what we've done as a band we've just done over a long long period of time and kind of almost fighting for every fan in a way. There were a lot of times where we would go to towns for years and years and you know there'd be 30 people there and the next time we went there'd be 33 people there and the next time we went there'd be 28 people there and it just didn't feel like we were getting anywhere and I guess around uh, around Set Yourself on Fire was when things really started to, to pick up but I think people thought of us as a new band then and in fact we were a band that had already made two other albums and three other EPs and have been going for six years so we've been doing this for a long time so it always feels both surprising that every anyone cares and, and uh, also like we fought hard for it. You know? With the baby on board, it's amazing. The baby, Delphine, Amy and Evan's baby, is a beautiful baby and a very good-natured kid. Um, I think for them, it's very challenging and they're learning how to do it. It's really the first time we've been out on the road with a baby. So, you know, for Amy, it's a, a big, big, big deal. It's a full-time job on top of a full-time job. We've sold 500 tickets tonight, but come on down the next time we play, folks. We're pretty good, wouldn't you say? This young man likes us, so what more recommendation do you possibly need? That's right, the intrepid journalist says go.